are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. The number of deaths due to bad weather since January 1 has risen to 29 according to the latest report of the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. Eight of the fatalities are from Zamboanga Peninsula, seven each from eastern Visayas and northern Mindanao, five from Bicol, and one each from Davao Region and Soxarjan. Fifteen of these numbers were already confirmed, while 14 were still being verified. Meanwhile, four individuals are still reportedly missing, while 12 were injured. Philippine National Police spokesperson Police Colonel Jean Fajardo reported on Tuesday that there are 18 remaining police generals and full colonels to have not yet heeded Interior Secretary Benhur Abulos' call for courtesy resignations. Fajardo said of the 18 remaining, there are more or less eight officials who will retire in a few days or weeks. This is the reason they will not submit their resignation. Senator Rafi Tulfo files a measure seeking to rationalize the celebration of national holidays to allow for extended weekends throughout the year, which might increase domestic travel and encourage work-life balance for both workers and students. Senate Bill No. 1651 was filed to amend Republic Act No. 9492 in a bid to boost domestic tourism and promote work-life balance. As for the weather update, the low pressure area was last located this morning at 290 kilometers east of Maasin City, southern Leyte, while another LPA was spotted at 125 kilometers west northwest of Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. The LPA and shear line will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Bicol region and Quezon. Meanwhile, the northeast monsoon will bring cloudy skies with rains over Batanes, Cagayan, and Apayao, and partly cloudy to cloudy skies with light rains over Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon. Today, the lowest temperature recorded was 15.2 degrees Celsius in Baguio City, Benguet. Catriona Gray is honored to be Miss Universe's backstage host. Being a backstage host at the recently finished Miss Universe competition is an honor for Catriona Gray. The Miss Universe 2018 winner acknowledged it as her most recent accomplishment on Instagram and said that it has always been a dream for her to be in the hosting lineup of Miss Universe. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to Global Daily Mirror Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Leslie Ordinario. Good day.